You guys, welcome back. Today I'll be making mian kam, a leaf wrap made of beetle leaves filled with aromatic textural ingredients, topped with a sweet and savory sauce for a flavorful bite. Please stay until the end because I'll be showing you how to eat it. Let's get started. These are beetle leaves, also known as bai shaplu. These will be our wraps to hold all of the goodness inside. They can be identified for their heart-shaped leaves. The top of the leaves have a glossy green sheen and the back is dull like this. They smell of cloves and have an earthy, peppery herb flavor. There are a few ingredients for mian kam. A few rinses. Let's prepare our toppings. First, ginger. The goal is to cut it into tiny bite-sized cubes like this. We'll be eating most of these things raw. Shallots. We'll cut it into similar size pieces. For the lime, choose ones that have smooth and thin skin like this because we'll be eating these pieces whole. The thinner the skin, the more pleasant they'll be to eat. It's gonna add a vibrant citrus element to each bite. and chilies for extra heat. For the dried shrimp, we'll let it sit in hot water for a bit to soften them up. They'll contribute a lot of umami and savory flavors. We'll need some roasted coconut meat. A quick rinse for this coconut. And with the backside of a cleaver, carefully whack it all around in the middle of the shell like this. It will eventually crack open. And a bowl to collect the coconut water. 
It won't be used in this recipe, but you can enjoy it as a refreshing drink later. To collect the coconut meat, score it well all the way down to the shell and it should eventually pop out like this. Oops, this one is a little excited. Slice the meat into thin pieces like this. In a dry heated pan, let's roast up the coconut meat. Roast it until deep gold colors develop. We'll plate all of these toppings up in just a bit. And for an aromatic paste that makes the sauce substantial, some roasted peanuts, Roasted coconut, galangal, ginger, and I almost forgot the dried shrimp. Not the same ones that's been soaking in hot water though. Let's prepare the sauce. This sauce should be sweet and savory and a bit of a thick consistency. It's going to tie all of these flavors together into a tasty bite. To the palm sugar, in goes the aromatic paste. followed by shrimp paste and fish sauce. I suggest starting with less fish sauce because every brand has a different level of saltiness. You can always add more saltiness, but it's hard to take it out without changing the flavor. And some water. Smelling robust in here. Boil the sauce on medium heat until it thickens up like this. Let's plate everything up. There's no right or wrong way to present miangkam, but usually the sauce is placed in the middle and all of the toppings and leaves are placed around it. Thank you. 
to eat this, we want to make a beetle leaf cup to hold all of these toppings. You can choose what you want to add in and the amount of each you like in each bite. It's totally customizable and each combination will produce a slightly different flavor each time. That's the fun part. This wrap is so flavorful, full of textures, the nuttiness, spiciness, sweetness, savory, the aroma that fills your mouth. I hope you give this a try. Please give this video a like and leave me a comment below. I'll see you all in the next video. Be safe everyone.